Welcome back to Junker Cluckers. I am Grady, your host as normal. This is my boy, my middle child. Hello. This is the Falcon. We have a little bit of an exhaust leak from the last time you've seen this. Um, so that manifold is from a 66 Mustang. And this is the gasket that's supposed to be on that manifold to downpipe or outlet pipe. I don't know what you call it um, or what Ford called it back then. I'm calling it a downpipe. Uh, part number 8194. We're going to try and quiet it up just a little bit more. Uh, in this video, we would like to get this vehicle so we can stop, run, and drive. And get it out of here because we've got Thanksgiving coming. And we use the garage to eat uh, Thanksgiving in. Because our house is not very big. And we got a pretty good sized family. So, let's see what we can get done. Yeah, so we gotta take out these two bolts, one here, one here, uh, drop this pipe down, and hopefully we can get that gasket in without too much of a problem. Um, yeah, so here we go. I'm sure you guys can't see without the light. Brent's working on the light right now. Here you go. It's kind of covered in uh, oil. oil undercoat. So we were doing to the truck the other day. I'm not sure if you guys are going to see this video first or that video first. But they're all coming. At some point in time, you will be caught up to where we really are in life. Maybe. Maybe. We're always doing something here. There we go. Hi. How's it going? Hello, Shiran. Hi. Say hi to the people. Um, um what? The people. the people in the camera. Mm -hmm. Hi. Ah, mm -hmm. oh, crap. I just dropped what we needed, Brent. <sighs> yeah. You can see she was still doing some blow-by there. So, like I said, this is... I'm wondering if it's going to work the same. I don't really know. Well, the thing is, this doesn't have... Here. This doesn't have the same kind of bull spit that does. That's supposed to sit up in there like that. Yeah, because this one's flat. This one's got a, the old one's got a flat gasket to it. I don't know. I don't know if it's going to work the same. Um, I think I want to possibly start one of the bolts, maybe. I don't know. No, oh, crap. I just dropped the exhaust. The, exhaust. the what? I just dropped the gasket. Yeah, this is not going to be an easy one. Hi, Bob. Hi Brent. Hi Brent, how are you? Good. We got our dunks. We're all set. Yep, we do. Keep watching. All right, so they didn't have the studs that I was hoping to get, which would have been, where did I put it? Which would have been this. I was hoping to get two of these studs that I could stick up in this manifold and it would just make life a lot easier. Uh, so I pick up two bolts instead that are the same length as studs. I might have to shim them a little bit. I'm hoping not too much. So let's see where we can get with this. I think that's what we're going to do is we're going to put it up in the air and try and, try and do it that way because this is just not working out. All right, so that's what we ended up with here, guys. Definitely not a spot where you can record easily. That, uh, that grass gets in here crushed. So this manifold is for a 
200 or a 170, somewhere around 64 to 66 or 7. Obviously, this is the Falcon. This has a flat, uh, flat base where this is uh, kind of coned in. So hopefully these two have met good. I, I'm looking and I don't see any gaps. Everything tightened up pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and give that a shot. We'll break it down, start it, see how it uh, see how it sounds. All right, guys. Let's see what she does. Choked all the way. And fire. I don't feel any leaks there. And I swear to God, that is the first time I've started this thing in like a week. <laughs> that was good. That's crazy. They're warm up and pulling the choke off slowly. Wow. That worked really good. I didn't expect it to work that good. Kind of just hacking together parts that are for different years, you know? Yeah. Look at that shot of the tailpipe. Once it warms up, we'll give it a bit of a rip. So this is the rear brake line. All I did is I snipped it off and took it out of the uh, the line. Um, what I want to do is just plug it, and I'm not sure if that's going to be the right one or not. It doesn't really look like it. Now this is just a temporary fix, so we can get it to drive in and out of the garage. All right. So that's what we ended up with. That goes into the master comes down brake switch is there that's supposed to lead to the rear uh, as you can see as you can see it's plugged off for now temporarily don't get upset with me people i understand brakes are important eh sure maybe but also i don't want to go running a new brake line right now because the gentleman i got it from uh, did not mess with the rear brakes. The front brakes, however, he has told me of what it looks like. Everything is brand new. So, hopefully, we'll have brakes after this. I'll probably have to bleed them again, but that's no biggie. Pop it! Hold it. Hold it. Pop it. Hold it. 
hold it. Okay, pop it. Hold it. Pop it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. All right, so we got the front brakes bled the best they're going to be for now. Um, I say that because one, the rear brakes are sitting on the front brakes and the front brakes are sitting on the rear as far as where it sits on the master cylinder so it's not even having the proper pressure I would imagine um, so that's something we'll have to address later now all I want to do is just clean everything up a little bit get dry cracks longer than a, a ruler So, oh, Bob. All right, guys. Next thing I want to do uh, now that the the um, exhaust is a bit quieter, I hear a little bit of motor noise. Could be a lifter, uh, something like that. We really don't know how long this motor has been since it's really been, uh, you know, idling and driving and whatnot. So th there could be some sludge in there. So what I want to do is I'm going to throw some seafoam, not a sponsored product here, but once again, when I find a product that I like, I will pass it on to the next person. And uh, once again, I'm not getting paid for this, um, but hey, you know what? Seafoam, if you're looking for anybody to uh, push your products, let me know. I'm just kidding. So I'm just going to dump a generous amount. probably more than necessary but we're only running it for a couple of minutes we're gonna we're gonna warm the engine up and um here just give it a little more probably way too much um we're just gonna warm the engine up and then we're gonna dump the oil out because this oil once again we don't know how long it's been sitting not a clue it does not look good at all it is full but that's as far as the, the good point is on it. So, let's get this thing fired up for, for a little bit and uh, gotta find all the damn wires. Coil's hot. I need my key. <laughs>
All right, guys. It is time to change El Oil. Hoping and praying that it's not going to be that bad. But you know it's not going to be good. Pretty gross. Pretty gross, guys. Like no viscosity left of that oil in anyway. None at all. Full of gas. Very, very, very thin. Looks like it might have been a little chunky at the bottom. Everything online saying that it's three and a half quarts. Let's see if I can make too much of a mess here. We're up into the full mark. We're still gonna have to start it. I don't know what you guys think about these safety government features whatever the frig they're called but i absolutely hate them i just push them down right on the seam here once it's pushed down and i'll tape it i could dis disassemble it but it always seems to have an issue with leaking and shit like that after but this is just what i do And that way, it doesn't pop back up, and you can pour it from whatever freaking height you need to. I don't know about you guys, but that works a heck of a lot better than me. Just saying. Still makes a mess. They're nothing like they used to be. I guess you can get the better uh, fill nozzles at Harbor Freight and Tractor Supply and shit. I just haven't made it over there. Look at that. If you really care about getting shit in there, don't leave it out in the rain. Or you can even make your own cap or find some kind of a cap that fits it. That's just what I do. You don't have to do what I do. I'm just sharing my my thoughts. That's my little tech tip of the day. Let's see how she sounds now, guys. And gals. Hopefully it sounds a little better.
Joke. Too much fuel. First, let's check the oil. It definitely sounded better on startup on this one. I don't know about you guys. <clears throat> if you can hear the knock before or not. It wasn't even really a knock. It was just, I don't know. Just things weren't being well lubricated. Yeah, we're, we're about a half a quart down right now. Maybe a quarter. So let's add a little bit. Oh, it's over here. I'm really starting to like this, this Falcon. Not like I disliked it before, but you know, as you start working on stuff and you, you start learning the vehicle, you know, the more hours and time you put into them, for me at least, the more I, I end up loving them. This is one that will probably not leave my possession ever. The gentleman I got it from, super nice guy. He watches my videos too. Name is Rich. Rich. We're a little low still, let's go a little bit more. But uh, super nice guy. He, uh, he's the one that put the work into the brakes and he had it running last year and when he was doing it it was uh, like zero degrees out hi Snickers so uh, I don't blame him for little mistakes like we found hell everybody makes them doesn't matter how many how many years you've been doing it? That's pretty good right there. Let's go ahead and start it back up and let her run for a little bit. Get down here when you fall. No Snickers, I'm not playing ball. Working on the Falcon. The people want to see the Falcon. <laughs> Behind the machine, the bar 
marble. The marble, marble. behind the machine. There we go. Look at that. It's running smoothly. It had an oil change. He's fixed to a jaw. What else have you done to it? Um, so we got it running, got the exhaust fixed, did the oil change, worked on some wiring. Uh, what else have we done? Oh, we did the brake system yesterday. It's got front brakes, but that's it. They're not great. They have to be adjusted. Uh, we're going to see if it moves today, hopefully, by the end of the day. We got Thanksgiving coming up, and this is where we eat Thanksgiving, is in the garage. Yee-haw! Oh, it's Troy. Hi, Troy. <laughs> yeah, that sounds a heck of a lot better. It still needs some tuning. We're going to do a car, uh, car kit on it. We still need to vacuum tune it. Uh, and we need to do timing. Put the timing gun on it. But it definitely sounds a heck of a lot better than it did. Snickers! Alright guys, that's going to do it for this week's episode of Junker Clunkers. As you can see, the Falcon is coming along great. We got that exhaust taken care of. Uh, what do we do with the oil change? And we've got to work on the wiring in the next video. Um, and I know at the beginning of the video, I said that you're going to see it run and drive. I'm sorry, the video got too long. Did it run and drive this week? I guess we're going to have to find out in next week's episode. Check us out. On Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, Junker Clunkers with a Z. Please like, share, and subscribe. And please check us out this Thursday, Thanksgiving, at 7 p.m. to whenever. We have uh, Turlo's Garage and Wasted Talent Fabrication coming on. Please, guys, have yourself a good one.